بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے آور ٹاپک از ریپل ٹینک اسٹوڈنٹس ایف وی وانٹ ٹو اسٹڈی دا کریکٹرسٹکس آف ویوز ان لیبارٹری اینڈ وانٹ ٹو پروڈیوس ویوز وی یوز اے ڈیوائس کالڈ ریپل ٹینک A ripple tank is a device which is used to produce waves and to study their characteristics such as reflection, refraction and diffraction of waves. Let us move towards construction of ripple tank. This apparatus consists of a rectangular tray having glass bottom and placed nearly half meter above from the surface of earth we use a lamp over the ripple tank to enlighten the whole apparatus we fill the tray of ripple tank with shallower water here we have electric vibrator which is connected to electric motor the function of this vibrator is to move up and down the bar of the touching the surface of water to generate straight waves in the ripple tank the function of bulb is to visualize the pattern of waves under the ripple tank on a wide sheet of paper or screen the crest of the waves appear as bright lines on the screen whereas trough of the waves appear as dark line on the screen This is a required practical on the GCSE Physics AQA and the GCSE Trilogy Combined Science Physics component for AQA. It's the ripple tank. And as you can see how this works, we have a tank of shallow water. We have a bar of wood. Attached to it, we have a motor, which has got a weight on it, which means when it spins, it is, has, hasn't got a correct center of balance, so basically it creates a vibration. And that vibration travels to the wood and then causes the water to vibrate. We have a light here, and the light projects down, which creates uh, areas of light and areas of shadow. And the areas of light are the tops of the waves, the peaks of the waves, and the areas of dark are the troughs of the waves. So what we can see and what we expect to do with this core practical is we're expected to then make a measurement of wavelength. So if we look at the pattern here, uh, you can see that you've got areas of light and areas of dark. So if we measure from an area of light, which is the peak of the wave, to an area of light again, the next area of light, which is the peak of the wave, that is our wavelength. Sometimes it's quite tricky to do. It can be improved slightly by using something called a stroboscope, which creates pulses of light, which helps it may appear like it's moving slower. If I turn up our power here, okay, to a higher voltage, it will make the motor move faster, and so it will increase the vibrations, so it will increase the frequency. Now we know that frequency times wavelength equals the speed of the wave, the speed of the wave is going to remain constant, so if the frequency goes up, the wavelength will go down, and the waves will get closer together. So let's try that. We're going to turn up the frequency.
according to the statement of numerical 10.4 a simple pendulum completes one vibration in 2 seconds we have to find the length of the simple pendulum where g is equal to 10 meter per second square in given data this is given a simple pendulum completes one vibration in 2 seconds one vibration in 2 seconds this is given according to definition of time period time to complete one vibration is called time period so according to definition we have given one vibration in 2 seconds so this is time period so time period is equal to 2 seconds the value of g is equal to 10 meter per second square to find what we have to find is length of simple pendulum length of pendulum l is equal to question mark formula t is equal to 2 pi l by g square root hence solution by putting value of time period in this formula we get 2 is equal to 2 pi l by g under root taking square both sides by taking square both sides we get 2 square is equal to 2 pi l by g square root whole square 4 is equal to 4 pi square l by g by putting value of g 4 is equal to 4 pi square l by 10 by cross multiplication 40 4 into 10 is equal to 4 pi square into l by changing the side l into 4 pi square is equal to 40 and hence l is equal to 40 divided by 4 pi square which is equal to 40 divided by 4 into 3.14 whole square and 40 over 39.438 by calculating this we will get length is equal to 1.02 meter this is required answer